thick patch notes, juicy teasers, ridiculous content creator drama, and spicy Path of Exile starter builds. All are equally represented at League Start. Especially for PoE 3.24, Necropolis League. However, we've touched the big patch notes, peered at the dripping teasers, totally stayed out of the drama, and only recounted some safer League Start options so far. That must mean, yeah, you guessed it, this is the Spicy League Starters video. Today, I'm showcasing five. Volcanic Fissure of Snaking Juggernaut, Connor Con vs. Molten Strike of the Zenith Battle Mage's Cry Juggernaut, Dual Strike of Ambidexterity Slayer, Local Holes Lightning Strike Raider, and Snoobay's Explosive Concoction of Destruction Pathfinder. Yeah, that's right, three super melee builds, one slam build, and one ranged build that relies on chucking potions directly at your foe's faces. Also, here's a spoiler. One of these is my starter. If you want a best league starters list, check out my other video of five criminally strong starters or one of the numerous other five best starter videos out there. If you are on the search for something unique, fun, interesting, potentially difficult, and yes, spicy, continue on. These ideas are purely to share and encourage you to go wild. We'll do a quick overview of each build with some highlights and keep it brief. Consider your time not wasted. Tala Moana, fellow exiles, I am Try. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see and hear. Now, let's talk some Path of Exile 1. We're starting with the hottest of these five builds, the resident slammer on the list, Volcanic Fissure of Snaking Juggernaut. Believe it or not, that's not the wordiest or even second wordiest build on the list. It's also not my starter, right now, although it just might win out by launch. Volcanic Fissure is a wild skill. You slam your weapon onto the ground and a huge fissure opens up, damaging enemies all around. When you use its transfigured gem, Volcanic Fissure of Snaking, it turns into a screen-wide, enemy-tracking mess of fiery goodness, splattering enemies all across the map and making your PC shake quite literally. The skill's damage carries hard, but stacking attack speed here is vital for a feel-good character. Additionally, while its clear is incredible, its single target damage before you max out lacks a bit. You'll definitely need some skill to down pinnacles with this as a starter. While Slayer is an okay option, I'm a fan of being a beefy boy and going juggernaut. It helps with defenses, attack speed, and ensuring I am as large as possible when I press Berserk. The build up here is rather self-explanatory as a starter, but for scaling, you probably want to go forward as a strength stacker with Brutus's lead sprinkler. I've seen quite a bit of discussion on this build, with lots of people showcasing maxed out versions of it. What you're seeing in the background is a poor geared, league start simulation sampled by one of my favorite build makers around, Captain Lance 9. Doesn't it still look absolutely wicked and make you want to go snake around some enemies? If I haven't convinced you yet, well, I guess it's time to move on to yet another fiery starter. Yeah, that's right, it's another Juggernaut build exiles. This one specifically by Connor Converse, a nice but genius build maker who is totally not baiting us with this sensible Molten Strike of the Zenith Battle Mages Cry Juggernaut. That was a mouthful. Molten Strike has been nerfed for years on end, totally for the meme on GGG's end. However, with returning projectiles, it did make a bit of a comeback, and now with the transfigured gem, some smart people have learned how to make the skill work. Yeah, Connor is one of those people. This keeps us with the Juggernaut and Two-Handers, allowing us to be super speedy with excellent clear and single target DPS using the projectiles of Molten Strike. Additionally, utilizing Battle Mage's Cry, it allows our boost to spell damage to apply to our Molten Strike which when stacked with the Transfigured Gem's Zenith Strike means we get some huge chunks of damage done to our enemies. Here's a warning, the playstyle is a bit jank, complete with weapon swaps, the need to be clever about certain exerted attacks, and relying on the oh-so-beloved projectiles of Molten Strike. The Strike skill itself, too, looks a bit broken when swinging a two-handed sword, but that's not a tremendous problem. Again, Connor breaks down the build very well in a single take in the link to this build in the description. Go check it out. Okay, moving away from the meaty marauder and to Piety's favorite arse and all of Rayclast, let's talk a dual strike of ambidexterity slayer starter. Yeah, this is a wild one and probably the most melee of the melee builds on this list, but I've been searching around and hearing peeps about this one. 
it looks fun, and it's another transfigured gem. Like Cleave of Rage, it makes you wield two different weapon types. Unlike Cleave of Rage, you can choose which ones they are. The damage potential here is insane, as is the sustain as a Slayer with Overleech. Your clear here isn't as bomber as something like Volcanic Fissure, but your single target is easily insane, even at League Start. With this league being a league likely focused around bossing and downing those brand new T17 maps, this might be a legitimate contender. In particular, I caught the VOD of a smaller channel, Stockfish, simulating a league start with this skill and getting two Void Stones in around 7 hours. It's quite respectable, especially for a melee skill. If you're interested in this, definitely check out Stockfish's channel and the VOD linked below. While I have also seen some Bleed variants popping around out there, I'd not do that. Bleed is not in a great place, especially for melee attack builds. Stick to the flat damage attempts at this. Lots of people choose to use Paradoxica and Brightbeak with this, including Stockfish. Especially with lots of Katarina farmers this league, this should be a super cheap buildup. It is melee though, and it could be bait. Definitely not like this next build. Here we are, with inclusion number 4, we are at my likely starter for Path of Exile 3.24, Necropolis. It's Local Holes Lightning Strike Raider, a build with a rundown and warning so clear you'd need to listen to about 15 seconds of the video, mute the video, and directly go to the comments and rage post to not hear it. This build goes back to one of the most broken skills of the mid 3.0 era, Lightning Strike. The skill revolves around scaling it with Trinity support, dealing tons of elemental damage and blasting the screen with numerous lightning looking projectiles. While the clear is absolutely stellar and simple, the bossing requires quite a bit more setup. It's a melee build, so we'll want totems and lightning strike has a valve version which we'll definitely want to drop a lightning ball that attacks our lightning strike down for. The setup isn't as bad as some other melee builds, but it's definitely not a one button build during pinnacle encounters. There are also other popular variations of this skill and build that still work using the Trickster and Champion Ascendancies, but this particular Raider breakdown by Local Hole is especially juicy, quick, and powerful. While it's not for beginners, it's definitely a distinctly strong League Starter option. While it's definitely not for beginners, it's still a distinctly strong League Starter option. Exiles, it's the last build on the list and the spice factor is out of this world. May I introduce Snoobay 85's Explosive Concoction of Destruction Pathfinder, the only ranged build on this set of starters. It's quite <laughs> the bomb. With six projectiles without something like Dying Sun and the incredible power built behind the Pathfinder and its flask boosts, you're able to zoom through maps, annihilate monsters as soon as they appear on your screen, and it's all with real minimal investment. Your defenses though, they're a bit scuffed, beware. The build up for this requires a few big uniques, especially to make explosive concoction as a skill function in the mid endgame. So you might be leveling with a different skill entirely like toxic rain and poisonous concoction before swapping over to explosive concoction entirely, but it's a relatively easy transition, especially for the power boost involved. Snoobay 85's guide all the way back to 3.22 works well for this, as well as his updated transfigured gem addendum in 3.23. As with all the other builds on this list, it's super flashy, risky, and of course, as spicy as many of the takes found on the PoE Builds subreddit. Luckily, Snoobay 85 actually made an updated POB for it for 3.24 too, which can be found in the second link attached to this build in the description. What an absolute god. Now those are my top 5 spicy league starter showcases for Necropolis League. Did you like any of them, or are they all trash in your eyes? Let me know, and I'll see you in the Necropolis. Seriously, I'm gonna stream it, go check me out on the purple streaming website. Here's a tremendous thanks to everyone who watched this video to the end, and a massive thank you to each and every one of my supporters. You can help grow and support this channel for free by liking and sharing this video, hitting subscribe and the sub notification bell, and leaving a totally sane comment. I appreciate you. Anyways, that's all for this one. Talakira, Exiles.